Hello everyone, welcome to our first podcast. We're the Poker Balls podcast. My name is Lee. Obviously, this is the Osiris channel, so you hopefully do know me already. And uh, my co-host is Scott S9 Vibe is his handle online. How are you doing, mate? I'm doing very good, Lee. I am well excited for this podcast. You particularly look so with you. excited. You look really no, I am. excited. I did, yeah. You I've been buzzing this excited. all day. I've been buzzing yeah. all day. So. Yeah, so for everyone at home, we've been talking, discussing about doing a Pokemon podcast for a long time now. So it's nice that it's kind of finally happened and uh, coming to fruition. So it's good. And uh, we're going to basically cover all the latest news each week, hot topics on Pokemon. There's always things happening in the Pokemon scene. So we'll be covering everything and all the interesting stuff each and every week. So if you enjoy that sort of thing, or if you've got specific topics that you would like to see us cover in coming weeks, because we'll be doing these every week at the same time, they'll be going up on a Wednesday. And uh, just leave your comments down in the comment section below. Let us know what you want. Well, we're recording it on a Monday, but by the time it's edited and then on the channel, it'll probably mm -hmm. be likely <clears throat> Wednesday. Just giving ourselves a buffer, mate. Buffer. Okay, okay. It's me, that's got, it's me that's got I to could, do it. I could work. do it. You don't know. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll see about that. But anyway, so yeah, um, this is what it's going to be going forward. I obviously both quite new to podcasts. Scott listens to podcasts all the time, so you should be the one kind of... I used to have my own right podcast, direction. to be fair. He did, yeah. Yeah, but I didn't have a co-host, so it was really lonely. But now now we're here, and we've got the Pokeballs, and we've got the podcast, and it's all... Mm. It's all good. It's all good, mate. It's all good. So I what are we kicking off with this week? And I'm, I'm cutting you off there, so you had something important to say. Go on, throw I it I think out. we should talk about Pokemon Home, because, you know, people are sad. Did you see the guy... Look, explain what's happening with Pokemon Home first. People must know this explain already. Explain what's happening. Explain what's happening. <laughs> Not Pokemon Home. What was saying Pokemon Home? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what, the eShop. The eShop's closing down. The 3DS eShop. Is it the Wii as well? Or is that already closed? Uh, so the eShop for... Yeah, so that's all coming to an end now with um, as of today, as of recording this. So if this is going up on Wednesday. Uh, that's all going to be gone, mate. It's all going to be finished and you're not going to be able to use it anymore on the, the DS, 3DS, uh, Wii U. Um, all those consoles are no longer going to have an eShop and you're not going to be able to purchase any of the games that were on those consoles. So like your back catalog of all your Pokemon games that were on there, red, blue and yellow not going to be able to purchase those any longer unfortunately um pokemon it, bank is gone yeah. as well i just didn't um, realize that so if you haven't if you've downloaded it but you haven't you if you've got it downloaded on your system and you haven't used it yet you're still going to be able to use it but if you haven't downloaded it you're pretty stuck for getting anything off those consoles or any of those That's games so from those systems yeah like yeah yeah i mean I they did, i didn't think had, about that yeah until I saw, I think it's Glitch XC posted about it yeah. today, actually. And she was like, oh, yeah. And I was like, reminder. You can't mm. do any of that now. Well, if you don't download it. Yeah. And like the Poker Transporter, uh, the Battle Bond Greninja that you can yeah. get from yeah, 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 yeah. the Sun and Moon demo. All gone, mate. It's sad. It's a sad day. But the, I guess I look at it on the side of they're closing this. They're going to port it to the Switch. They're, they're 100 percent going to port everything over to the Switch. They've got. You have to hope like, so. Like they've announced, they have announced on the Switch. You've got the Switch Online service where you get the Game Boy. You've got the Switch Plus service, online service where you get the GBA. You would imagine like the biggest titles for those handheld consoles. I'm not exaggerating. Not our Pokemon ones, right? So you're going to port them over. They're not any longer available. <laughs> On these old systems, so let's put them on the switch. It's just it feels too good not to put them on, you know. No, I think they'll do it. It's just when they do it, they, mm. you know what they're like. I mean, their online system compared to any other online system is Nintendo Switch Online is is just crap. They do it's, definitely have a strange way of doing things. I I will admit that. I think everyone was thrown off though from the the Pokemon Presents on Pokemon Day. That we were a hundred percent expecting. I think everyone was expecting like the yeah, big yeah, announcement yeah. to be in that and that presents to be red, blue, and yellow are now available on the eShop or something along those lines, you know. But um because Pokemon Stadium and Stadium Two are coming to the sixty four uh at some point, they they're on the list of games to come. I'm pretty sure I've got 
Um, it's just weird that they wouldn't announce it on Pokemon Day, especially if they have it planned for this year. Yeah, it's just that's like, what I mean. Unless they're just going to do like a rando, like surprise. There's all the games that are coming. It just feels like yeah, that would have been the time to do it. You know, the stadium warning stadium. Yeah, two. yeah, yeah. The really annoying thing about those was though when they got announced uh, in their little trailers there was like a little snippet of information along the bottom of the trailer saying that you would not be able to trade Pokemon into oh, Pokemon yeah, yeah, Stadium. Yeah. Which trading is possible. It's been shown to be possible. Like there's people who have hacked switches, who have custom firmware on there and put red, blue and yellow in there and done the trading, like trading between two switches with those two games on. So the trading mechanics are set up between Switches, so you would think there should be something integrated within Stadium. Unless they're waiting for home to come out, and then they'll be like, yeah, you can do it now, but... Maybe. It just seems weird, because home will probably come out before it anyway. It just... Home feels like it's getting very close. I think the last update that we had from Pokemon Home was from Nintendo of America, like, at the end of February. So not too long... Well, I say not too long ago, like a month ago, mate. Um, Pokemon Home... It's got to be close, right? Because... They're Early dropping, this year, they're yeah. dropping raids now like super often. Right, the seven yeah. star raids are coming like what well, looks like we might be getting one every two weeks now rather than once a month. Yeah, and I think that's the thing. Like, it feels like we, we had the Decidui one, we've had the Summer one uh, announced today, and you think the next one's going to be Typhlosion, and you feel like after that one. Home should be coming. Home should be like on its way after that. You feel like you want to get these out as soon as possible. As soon as they're all done, then you can get home out. And it feels like because they're rushing the seven stars at the minute. You know, we used to have this like seven star raid spotlight event, kind of another event. And then we'd have another seven star raid. There would be a huge gap. It would be like one a month. And now they're doing it like seven star raid, seven star raid new seven star raids there's like not really a gap and they're kind of combining the spotlight terror raids in with them like we had the blissey event with the decidui event this past weekend so do they have to unlock like the national decks before they can allow pokemon home what do you mean well people can't say they release pokemon home people can't just then import them into a game that doesn't have support for them yet if that makes sense no well, so like when that when home is compatible, you get an, there'll be an update for Scarlet and Violet. I would That's imagine. what I mean. Okay, yeah, yeah, and there'll be an update for home, and then it'll all. But would it not? Does it doesn't coincide with the DLC at all? No, I wouldn't have thought so. No, because the DLC is not pegged till like what was it? Um, fall, isn't it? Mm. The first one, which surprises me because I was like fully expecting it to be like Summer. a June July release. Yeah. Yeah, because then there were a lot that the second one is also in like winter. So it's just like. Yeah, but if you look on the eShop, it's listed as coming in like January 2024. Oof. Yeah. But I guess it's winter, but I mean. It kind of is winter, but it's not 2023. So it's like what, you know, I don't really know when the DLCs are going to drop. It's. It's so up in the air, but I was totally expecting the same like release schedule as we saw like Isle of Armor and then Crown Tundra, which were like a June, I think a June release and then a November release. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Yeah. I mean, we'll have to wait and see. Mm. What, I think you mentioned to me, I mean, they could, they haven't given specific dates yet, so they could change it if they wanted to. I um, think so. Like, it wouldn't surprise me still if we get it in like June, late June or July, you know, the, DL- the first DLC. Yeah. But unless, they're, unless they are like, it's not finished yet and they're like, oh crap. <laughs> we got to fix all the these issues. They have all these problems. They're like, yeah. Well, they're, they're, they've got that new, well, they have announced an update, right. didn't they? They, up- they announced an update recently um, for the end of April, which is going to fix <laughs> the walk and wake and iron leaves issues that people were getting you know the the bad egg they were like going into raid events when they the players shouldn't have been able to update they to go in and get the terror raid event for these two pokemon without updating their game but there was some flag that obviously wasn't raised and it was allowing players to go into the game without updating and then get the event in game and then they were going into the raid which there was no code for the pokemon so it was just a bad egg and then these 
players were catching the egg if and I, then that was counting as their court Pokemon because you can only catch one of these per event so that was cat that was counting as the walking wake or iron leaves so even after the update when they went into the raid properly and the pokemon was appearing they weren't able to catch it because it was already counted as that bad egg so this patch is designated to resolve that problem and we're going to get walking wake and iron leaves back again but there's obviously the the the, the save date, uh, the save date uh, glitch. They haven't as got well. the money or the staff to you know to fix it. They're only a small company, TCPR. Uh, I mean, yeah, we have to give them a break. What's their what's their net worth? Let's have a look. The, Poke, the, the Pokemon company. I'm so intrigued now. I'm actually yeah. I don't know. Like, it must be net billions. Worth. Billions has to be. Ooh, that's a lot of money. But that's Japanese. What dollar? A dollar. How much? We I at? mean, it's like ninety-two billion. <laughs> really? Is that is that what they're worth? Not really a lot of money, is it? Nah. I can understand why they've struggled to fix all these problems. That's I just I don't get it right. I get that the a fix is going to take a while, right? But like when people give like game free, they literally print Pokemon. money on poke like Pokemon cards. They give them way too much money. slack. Yeah, it's they give them like, way too much slack to be like, oh, the, we can't find out what it is. Uh, the, it's going to take ages to fix this. It's like exactly your point. Like they're a multi-billion dollar company. They have the money to fix it. And it's like their like flagship project, product, you know, product to their main series games. You think like it's a pretty big issue. Like you would want it fixed pretty pretty quick and i understand i understand that it's only affecting a small number of people but like i feel so bad for those people that have played like 400 hours plus and they're all i didn't even think about it right because i was i was looking at your videos and someone commented oh yeah like obviously we had the terror raid bliss event and i was like yeah gonna gonna farm farm that because it has like insane um terror shard drops mm. But then some people comment to me like, I'm too afraid to do it in case it breaks my game. And I was yeah. like, this shouldn't be a problem. Like people shouldn't be worried about not but like participating in an event because no. they worry that they're scared their game safe there might just go bye bye, you know. It's true. I didn't even think about it. I was like, oh, I'll just do the event, but like my game could have died, you know. And I, whenever I go into the raids as well, sometimes it legit takes me a minute to load mm. into the raid, and I'm like, as my game just broke. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> Genuinely, I'm sitting there freaking out, like staring at my screen, just a white screen it's happened. as I'm trying to load into screens. Mm. I'm like, what is going on? Yeah, I think that was like one of the biggest like conflicts I had when I put that video out because I was like, I know I don't want to be like creating any like hysteria around it because mm -hmm. it is like I was genuinely worried myself. I think I'm less worried about it now because I've played. I've continued to play on because I had to for videos for the channel. So I don't feel really that like it's still in the back of my mind, but I don't feel like it's like that big an issue. But I get how scary it can be for like a lot of players that have put like hundreds of hours in and have like stuff that they oh, don't want to lose. I'm not replaying you know? my game now. You know, so I can like, but like you say, it comes back to the point like it, that should never be a thing to even like, like be a possibility. And it all comes down to them just not having a cloud save. You know, like yeah. if they just had cloud saves, like then there's no issue there. You could have these glitches and stuff like that. And you'd be like, well, it's fine. If it breaks, at least I know I've got my save backed up on the cloud and I can get it back. On save like, files, didn't they used to be saved to the actual car save files? And then now uh, they're done to the switch. I th With the 3DS? Because I'm sure all the 3DS cards. No, because the 3DS had a, 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 an SD card. No, the DS, it? the DS. I'm sure the DS, it was been. like saved. Because I remember finding a copy of Pokemon Pearl once and it had someone's save data on it. I must do I put then. It, put yeah. it into mine. So, like, obviously must now. Just been when we went to like the 3DS, when you got that integration with the like the SD cards were part of the console. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. They, they did it that way. Because, yeah, you can like buy, yeah, because you're right, like old cartridges like Emerald or anything that you pick up like in a secondhand store or eBay or somewhere, there'll be a save file on it. And that's kind of like one of the more exciting things about buying a save file, like having a look through. What have they got? Yeah, someone else's game. Like, have they got any rare Pokemon? You know, it's like, it's kind of cool. 
yeah, but yeah, yeah. But yeah, the, the I guess they don't do it anymore. It's kind of like I guess it, it would. I guess it'd be better, better for this. Situ- now, so yeah, it'd be it's better for this situation, call. wouldn't it? But it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be better in terms. Again, of like it all comes down to their. Why the hell was their online system not better? I mean, you can't even ch- chat to people, like on the on the console. Like it's just like why can you, every other every other form of gaming has a way to communicate with your friends on the console, but Nintendo requires you to download an app on your mm. phone in order to, at that point. At which point you might as well just use Discord or anything else I'm on the sure actual telephone. Something- you know, when you're in a raid online, uh-huh. I'm sure someone mentioned that there was, I'm sure there's a way to communicate with, not directly, you can't speak to someone when you're in a terror raid online, but there is Oh, command. imagine if you could. The amount of abuse you'd be getting. <laughs> That's <laughs> Just the like reason the whole why. team of Iron Hands, people like screaming <laughs> down the mic. <laughs> That's the reason why, though. That's the reason, like, 100% why. Oh, it'd be so funny. Be brutal, mate. <laughs> be brutal. But yeah, there's Why supposedly you some like commands. <laughs> Why are you belly drumming? Yo, what are you doing? Uh, Use acid spray, I told you. Uh, uh, it would be horrendous, mate. It'd be horrendous. Can you imagine? Mm. Make for some good videos, though. They would. That would be so oh. funny. Oh, there you go. Think of the content. Yeah. We've just got well, f- gone off on one on a tangent, just bashing Nintendo, well, Game Freak and Pokemon from the eShop, but um, we should probably get back on track with this. But I think justified points, to be honest. Holmes coming out to answer your question. Sometime per the update, the last update that we had early this year, it was originally spring early this year. I think it's got to be, it's got to be April. It has to be April. April, make, April makes sense. Yeah, I can't it's see kind of like the last May. It's a, yeah. It feels like that is... I don't know. It might be May. I mean, if we're not getting the DLC packs until like maybe September time. Unless they're trying to stagger it. But. Then it might be delayed. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> because it keeps the interest in these, the raid events, right? As soon as Pokemon Home comes out, there's not really going to be the hype or the formal around something like Decidueye being available because you can just transfer it from Home anyway. You know, I think the thing that could be cool would be like maybe the Hisuian Pokemon because they're yeah, exclusive to Legends Arceus. So that would be kind of cool. Um, Unless they and, know that and they're saving stuff like that for when home is out. So then people still have an interest in raids. Yeah, potentially. Yeah. Because I think that's like the big, that's a, such a big part of the the kind of post games until the DLCs come out feels like it's like the, the the wave that's carrying everything along until the DLCs arrive and then wham we've got this like whole new storyline to kind of take part in but until then how we on our fifth or sixth seven star raid which so I think uh, we're on are we on our fifth or sixth seven star raid so we've done Charizard Cinderace Cinderace Greninja Greninja Pikachu uh, we Pikachu. had Decidueye. Decidueye. So this would be the sixth. Sixth oh, six. one. Have we missed one out? Mm, no. Let me have a look. Uh, we've had two water, we've had two fire. No, wait, more. I don't think we have. Yeah, I think we are on a six. So it was, yeah, Charizard, Cinderace, Greninja. And then after Greninja, I'm sure it was Pikachu, wasn't it? Yeah. I think yeah. what they're probably going to okay. do, I think you're right about the Hisuian Pokemon. I think they'll probably do that after home. And because a lot of people have been asking for like the legendaries. Mm. Now, even though you can trade them in, I still think people would be really interested to fight like a seven star Mewtwo, even if they yeah. had one in game. Because like it's going to be well That'll be hard, sick. Right? Yeah. Like, That'll be insane. I think they're probably going to, they're probably going to, well, I hope they're going to save stuff like that. Because then, because otherwise, people are just going to lose interest in the seven star raids. They're yeah. probably just they're just doing the star Pokemon because people they know people love the star Pokemon anyway. So it makes. Do you reckon they would be? Do you reckon they would if they did introduce the legend? Do you think they could go to an eight, eight star raid, and that would be like it wouldn't change the the level because that's obviously maxed out anyway. But it would just the intelligence the, of the Pokemon, the or tier of the Pokemon, to just like. You know, legendary. I think it'd be really cool if we actually got like one that's like really hard to do. Mm. 
because I mean, obviously, it's more. It's going to be more content as well. Like because obviously, you, the seven star. I mean, seven star rides are really hard anyway. But imagine just like just that little bit harder, and you get to the point where it's like, oh, holy crap! Like mm. this is like I'm struggling to do this. I thought about what to do, like to the point where you kind of need people to do it with, you know. Yeah, and I think they they were very close to that now. I remember like. You know, the Charizard one when it first came out. And I can't remember what the first Pokemon I took into it was, but I was like, damn, this is, this is, I'm not going to be able to do this without going online. But then it was like, oh, okay, we just figure it out a little bit. And mm. you realize that there's the glitch with Azumarill's uh, Play Rough Belly Drum combination, which has been fixed now. But yeah, it would be nice. I think the legendaries would be a step above because uh, the base stat totals are so much higher. And they they have way more powerful attacks, you know, and they hit way harder. And pretty much across the board, all of them have like, oh, imagine like solid a ways Groudon to set up as well. With uh, with um, <laughs> precipice blades, P blades, or Kyogre with Origin Pulse, you know, or like a Water Terra Groudon. Oh, yeah, <laughs> just just like some crazy stuff, and be like, yeah, yeah. you can't beat this. Mm. This is an eight star raid. Sick. Good luck. They they can't like, even be. They they can't <laughs> something really dumb. They're like. Mm. I don't even know if you can be this <laughs> fun. Yeah, I wonder if they'll do anything different with them uh, when they introduce them, because they're inevitably going to introduce all the legendaries in Scarlet and Violet at some point, like they did with Sword and Shield. You uh -huh. know, they had the Dynamax Adventures and and the uh, Crown Tundra, so that was a way for us to get like all of the legendaries pretty much in the games. And they, they, I, I wonder they if they were going to do, do like increase shiny chances for some of them the as well. Yeah, especially for That'd the ones. Be amazing. Well, again, like for Pokemon that once home is here, like you said, for Pokemon that aren't even with mm. the legendaries, you know, just like add, just slightly increase the shiny odds. Mate, like Mariadon and Mariadon shinies are sick. They're like the best shinies in the game, and we can't even get them. They're shiny locked. I got a bit of a hot take, but it's, it's yeah. I don't like them. Do you not? I think they're overrated. What? I mean, just, no. I mean, Mariodon, we know the Mariodon's no. like a really cool Pokemon, right? But I just, I they're just, they're just silver. They're, they're just the same as, as the shiny Mariodon looks sick, to be fair. But I don't know, they just, uh, no, uh, they, oh, they're just Wait not there, as mate. cool as I, I'm looking at them now. You can't tell me that is not a cool shiny, mate. Look at it. Yeah, I guess so. Look at the headband. It looks awesome. Is the head different? Is it? Is the headband different colours? I don't know if it is or if it's just... No, it is different. Yeah, it is. Yeah, because it's blue and, and pink there. It looks way better. But yeah. I mean, no, I don't. I don't think they're bad. I just don't think they're as good as people <coughs> are trying to be. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, it'd be cool to get the shinies. It would be cool to get them in uh, increased shiny rates. And they did eventually in in Sword and Shield. We saw with the Dynamax raid events that they did. They occasionally did an increased shiny chance for the kind of the, the mascot Pokemon for that event. So. You know, that it would be like a 2% chance that it would be shiny. So it would, mm -hmm. you know, better than what the current rates are in Terra Raids because the shiny chances are ridiculous and there's no outside way to kind of manipulate them or get them shiny or anything like that. So um, that would be cool. That would be really cool, yeah. Or but, if oh, they did the Ruined Pokemon because they're shiny locked, right? Yeah, they're shiny locked as well. So that could be cool. Yeah, that'd be good. Did they... I don't think they've ever... Because Reggie Drago and Reggie Alecki, they were never released with their shiny. Oh no, were they? No, you could get them in the shiny forms. In yeah, you could get them in the Crown Tundra. You could shiny hunt for those both, so you could get them in their shiny forms. I guess they're not like legendaries, though, are they? Even yeah. though they were kind of like they felt like legendaries in that game, almost with how you got them in the temples, and they were the additional Reggies and stuff like that. So. There's loads of scope, mate, for like really cool things for them to do with these DLCs. I'm really excited to see what they're actually going to do. Like, we're not do you even have talking any theories? about. Uh, not really. We thought mate. it was going to go to Kalos, right? Because it's based on Spain. 
Yeah, it doesn't and feel like it's doing any of that though. Like, because there is that obvious section that is like in the game that is yeah. clearly DLC because it's dark. It's like a sectioned off area of water, or it's obviously land. Probably. Let me let me let me bring this up. So we've got the teal mask and indigo disc. I don't know if there'll be any images here of the. All right, let's see. Um, I don't think there's any images from the trailer. I could pull the trailer. Oh no, the video's here, so we can play this. I can just, I'll just mute this because I just, there's just one picture that I want to kind of pull up, which does kind of give us a view of, and I think it's around here, of the island where it's kind of based. But I mean, even going here, there it is, there it is, there, this kind of island area here. And this feels like it's like an island off where the Blueberry Didn't Academy they explain, is. Like, yeah, which like, is, yeah. This is the Blueberry Academy, right? In the middle of the sea. And then you've got That's this so kind sweet. of island here that they're, I guess, monitoring here, or it feels like they're monitoring from this area. But then the whole, I guess, the area that you're talking about, because could be in the, um, the Teal Mask, because it's like a spring break sort of theme here where you're, I guess the idea of it, at least in my mind, is you're on a school trip and this is your school bus and you're taking the bus from um, Paldea and you're going to wherever this is and that's where the teal mask is going to be in the, the town. I'm sure they've they've released the name of it and stuff like that. And this this makes sense to me here. Um, but So whether or not that's the link between the two and it's like that in-between land between Paldea and Carlos maybe, but... I don't know, mate. I mean, I we've got like one of the uh, the new legendaries is obviously based on a turtle, so it makes sense that obviously some of the DLC is in the water, right? So, well, what? So you haven't heard about the? Have you not seen the? Um, what is it? Uh, let me let me bring it up. Just carry on with what you were saying. I was just saying, you know, I can't remember what the other one was but there was two obviously one of them's clearly based on like a, a turtle yeah. or, or tortoise mm -hmm. um so that makes sense that they're part of, one of the dlcs will be like out in the ocean or something um and then i guess the other one means is tied to obviously tied to the other dlc which is on land because there's only one know. there's only one section right on the on on the Paldea map there's only one section that is shadowed off so it would yeah. make it makes sense that one part is going to be on land and one part is probably going to be somewhere else in the water. Yeah, because it's probably too far away to like shadow it. So mm -hmm. we probably are going to have one on water, one on land. I'm guessing based off of the information that we know. Yeah, one hundred percent. And then some have more areas zero stuff. Have you, did you not read the the Scarlet and Violet books then in the games? No. Oh, you didn't. Oh, okay. We'll maybe talk about this on, on another episode in the future because I feel like this is something we could take a real deep dive on and we can talk about the two legendary Pokemon in the DLCs and how they're linked. Maybe okay. not the one from the Teal Mask so much, but definitely the one from uh, the Indigo Disc because that is all tied. Obviously, that's where the, the basis of all the, you know, terrestrialization comes from, from that one, because it's got all mm -hmm. the typings on its back. And yeah, yeah, yeah. In the Scarlet and Violet books, there's that picture that um, Heath has, like, drawn, and it's got the, the dome, and it's got the, the turtle sitting on top of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you've not seen anything regarding that? I've seen pictures, but I just haven't read it. Uh, okay, yeah. So maybe, like I say, it's quite a, an in-depth thing we could go, we could cover that. Let us know, everyone. Would you like us to go a bit more deeper dive into the DLC law, and uh, we can we can take. I'll a do look my at homework for the next that. episode. Yeah, Scott can do some homework. We'll set him. We'll set an assignment, it. and then we can come back and talk all about it next. How about next week? We talk about it. Yeah, a bit yeah more. of course. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, getting back to your first point, though, Pokemon Home doesn't look like it's anytime soon. Although it probably will be this next month, I would imagine. But we'll see. We'll see what happens, mate. Mm. I uh, this is a bit of a tangent, but I found mm. this video. Um, obviously, we both like collecting cards and stuff. Yeah, the, the TCG. So I was on the uh, I'm on the Pokemon TCG with somebody, and someone sent me this uh, like promo video that they made in Japan 
And um, I just want your live. I'm going to send it to. I'll send it to you on Twitter. I just want your live reaction to it. We can watch it on the pod, and then we can talk about TCG. But um, so you send it to me, have you? Yeah, I'm just sending it now. So it's just okay. a Reddit link for those listening. You're gonna have to on Spotify. You're gonna have to come on to the video version to um, on YouTube to have a listen. Um, but I might oh, be what? able to uh, get the audio through on this. I don't know. It's not the audio. You need to watch it. Okay, I it's can pull it up video. on the screen. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. I want you to watch it on the stream. Okay. Yeah. Can I full screen this, or is this as good as uh, it You should be able to, I think. If you want to... Yeah, there I go. You can play the sound if it. you want. There is no volume with it. <laughs> what is this already? <laughs> there is volume. It's, it sounds really weird. Is it, like, quiet at the beginning, or what? Hang on. Is no, it's really loud. You've got to try Should and get the, the volume to work, man. It says it's muted in the bottom right for some reason. There okay. you go. There we go. Okay. Right. Here we go. It's not playing on screen. I don't like how they're looking at me, man. I oh, know. It's so <laughs> weird, right? <laughs> I was watching it thinking, what is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I can't, I can't look. <laughs> I look at my ears and she's there. <laughs> How long is this going on for? It's, it's, it's literally just free. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so weird. They've got some big, like, muscular man to, like, do a dance at the end. <laughs> oh my god. What have I just watched? There's no sound. The sound makes it really good. If you get a sound conference, it's not coming through on the thing, but I'll put it on the edit so yeah, people yeah. can listen to okay, it. Cool. I'll sync it up. It's this look. These guys I know, right here. These, when I first saw it, I was like, This is fine. I'm watching it. I'm like, okay, they're doing they're doing they're doing it's there. <laughs> it's there. It's like okay. They stare deep into your soul and you're like they've got like cons and it's like demon stare right here. Right Hello. Here. Like, they are, yeah. <laughs> From this, no, where are we? Not yet. From there to there. <laughs> that to that. I don't like it. And more Pikachu as well. <laughs> yeah, and the Pikachu just suddenly appears in the background. And so then, weird. This isn't so bad, but it, she's just a bit creepy. And why do the Pikachus just randomly appear around the room? I don't really know what what the aim of the advert is. I get that the EX cards are Pikachu coming out. Pikachu EX as well. There's a special Pikachu EX set coming out. Uh, but other than that... Hey, you know what <laughs> Japan's like? What is she even making? What is I, in that I bowl? don't even know, mate. Pasta? That, that's some funky pasta, mate. That is... If anyone's making pasta that looks like that, they need to Bread? put it I in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> and then this dude, I mean, absolutely jacked. He's uh, he's definitely he's having a boogie. He's definitely on the old roids, mate. Oh, definitely. Look at those shoulders. What's that muscle called there? Uh, traps. Yeah, they're huge. Anyway, he looks like he's having a great time, but he does <laughs> get into it in the end. <laughs> <laughs> that is a screenshot oh of his face. Okay. okay. I like that. Enjoyed it. Thanks, mate. You're welcome. Thanks. Oh, well, this is convenient. Anyone that's playing Scarlet and Violet at the minute, there are mystery gifts that are going to be coming to an end at the end of this week, 31st. You've got um, the 10 carbos for free. Uh, the, the code is more speed. Get it in your mystery gifts section. And then you've got the Let's Terror for a free Terror Blast as well. 31st of March, and then the current one that's running until the 30th of April. So you've got plenty of time for this one for Thunder Wave and Taunt, which um, we 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 know some people get triggered by one being better than the other or people presuming one's better than the other when nothing's really been said. Anyway, uh, that's just relating to a funny comment that we got on the, the channel about uh, off the back of the, the latest Mystery Gift. At least just anyway, harboring was but, him uh, this poor guy. Yeah, Poor guy! <laughs> Insert angry Reddit user. Dude, I oh, I rewatched the I, I rewatched the video and I was like, I'm pretty sure I never said taunt 
or Thunder Wave were better than one another. I'm like pretty confident I would not say that. So I rewatched it all. I was like, I don't, there's nowhere anywhere in there I say any of them are really that good. I just say it's not the best mystery gift. Um, but yeah, so I don't know where that came from. What do you think of um, the Switch 2? Oh yeah, I've, we've got the um the the this Twitch came out. Too. This this came out. Uh, when was it? This was last week. So because I heard three out, another Nvidia Tegra for Nintendo Switch will be manufactured from 5LPP. Uh, so there'll be more updates coming from Connor. Uh, but this is the new Tegra chip uh, for um for the Switch for the next Switch for the Switch Two, uh, and obviously this is quite. Nice as well from Pori Leaks as well, saying impressive leap from launch sock at 2nm to 5nm process. This will be the latest info. Power efficiency looks interesting. I wonder how powerful this thing will be. PS4, yeah, yeah level, that's what which I is heard. Pretty powerful, mate. It's not that wild is, to have in a handheld. That's nuts, isn't it? I couldn't believe that when I read that. I was like, it's, I mean, we'll it can't be that powerful I'm because I mean, it. you're probably gonna, you're gonna be out performing like. There we That's go. It. Like it back. the Steam Deck and stuff. Then I mean, what is the Stream Deck? Steam like, Deck. It's got a uh, uh, no. It's got one of the um, AMD CPUs with integrated graphics. Mm. Uh, the I think it's RDNA two. It's just it's what it's limited to at the moment. But I mean that thing is still super powerful for like what it is. You have focus again. Yeah. Have you got one? I haven't got one, but my friends got one, and they are they are really good. Dude I is. think I feel like that guy on the the Pokemon advert. <laughs> the problem you're gonna have, obviously. Hopefully, it'll focus in a minute. Do you think they will change the design? Because obviously, they, I think they've hit the nail on the head for most of it. I like yeah. most of the design. If they they're not really gonna want to make it thicker, That's I doubt. Really annoying me. I know. I'm gonna have to do the dive and get really close to the. Again. See, it works there, and then really slowly, and then it'll focus in again. You see, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like a trick. It's three hundred dollar camera. It should uh, it should it's work a little bit out. better than that. I don't know, mate. You know, the one issue is I love the Joy Cons, but the Joy Cons have created probably loads of issues, right? So, as, if you look at it as a system, you think, mm, could they get rid of, or could they do something with the Joy Cons to make it less of an issue? Because I don't think I know anyone that hasn't got a Switch that hasn't bought new Joy-Cons or... Oh, I swapped mine out. Do you I know what I mean? I swapped mine out, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's just... I'm really hoping they have... I don't know if... Have you heard of Hall Effect sensors? Mm. I'm really hoping they put that in the new, in the new Switch. Because you're not relying on... That's where... Because they're analog triggers, that's where the problem comes from. And it also means you have less dead zones as well because with an analog trigger you have or joysticks or you have like a big dead zone in the middle because it's actual like all the components are touching each other but with the Hall effect sensors if I'm not mistaken it's like magnetic so it's all like precision it's just way more precise and you wouldn't get a stick drift with that basically um, so that would be pretty cool and I'm I mean, really I love like I'm not bashing things. on Joy Cons because I think they're like the the actual Joy Cons themselves are like super cool. It's a super cool. It's an amazing console overall. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I don't know why you would change much with it, but I just think yeah, there's like things there with it that could be. I better. think the the dock's got to be better because let's be honest, the dock is crap. Really, for what it, it's got to have an Ethernet jack. The fact that it doesn't come with an Ethernet port is really stupid. Well, I guess people don't need it. You have to buy an adapter, USB to Ethernet adapter, don't you? It only has two USBs on it, an HDMI, and a Type C. The back of mine now. Yeah, this is like the OLED one. Yeah, it's not got any. Yeah, that's crazy. I I thought it just had one in there. I would like to see one on there, but I guess most people use Wi-Fi. But still, it's some people might want to hardwire it, especially like when I went to uni. I couldn't connect my Switch to uni Wi-Fi because of the weird logins that they had. So I had to hardwire it. Um, so, you know, for instances like that, I want to see OLED as the standard for the base so model. Good. It has to be. Like, going to yeah. the, the Pokemon event, 
in Holland and seeing people with because I had, hadn't really seen one properly like in person mm-hmm. like it looks way better it's so good isn't it so compared to like the original models like when I have like, my original switch out I think man it's the difference is so noticeable it's like when you look at the latest 3DS to the first one they made mm. um, it just looks way better the screen and stuff and um, yeah I just hope like I say OLED screen Better, better um, Joy Cons uh, in the sense of the stick drift, no stick, and drift a better problem. dock as well. Better dock, and then maybe to be honest, the like obviously the battery life in it isn't great, but I've never had it be a problem. The OLED like, one's pretty good. Is it decent? Like, yeah, because they they brought out a switch that had ba- the same, the exact same as the base one, but it had a better battery, didn't they? Because that came out yeah. a couple of years ago. I think I got that one because I got the I had the original Switch, like when it first came out, and then mm-hmm. I got the one with the, the one you're talking about, and that definitely had a better battery. But the OLED feels like way superior to it. But oh, yeah. again, I don't really like. I always have my brightness like down, and I never really have the volume on if I'm playing handheld mode, or very rarely. It'd only be like certain games that I would have the volume on in handheld mode. So I guess. <laughs> probably helps keep the battery like for longer doesn't it what i find amazing is that like <coughs> nintendo are a company that are so i mean they're so successful and yet so many of their products and games have flaws and like quite big <laughs> flaws and yet they still manage to be as successful as they are and i think that's part of the reason why they don't fix it is that like switch has broken the record for like it smashed records in japan you know like everywhere it's smashed records um, they, is, I think they? they've sold the most I would imagine they've sold the most um, out of all their other consoles you know it is such a good console like like when you look at Theory you can dock it you can play handheld blah 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 they were, it's way ahead of everyone else you know ahead of the Steam Deck and stuff like that but you know obviously still has its inherent problems now obviously they can be overlooked but it's yeah. just it's crazy it's hard though right because like I guess you don't have a Stream Deck right a Steam Deck, no, I, I don't. I don't have one either, right? So it's like hard to say, like, oh, there, it, there's probably issues with that, right? Or are there not? Mm. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, not. There are problems, but they're not like. There's nothing it, like as bad as like the the stick drift is a bad problem, right? That they just haven't okay. fixed on any iterations. They ha- don't have anything like that that I know of. Um, other than just like downsides of the console, i.e. the battery life isn't as good and um but there's no like game like things that are like super bad. Um and people that like people just have to part with like my mate has it. He literally uses it more than his PC now. Like Maybe. he has a full blown like gaming PC with a ten seventy and stuff. Um and he literally just only uses his Steam Deck now. Wow. And when we went to Canada, he had it on him the entire time. He even bought this like special battery bank that will charge it faster. Like he literally just only plays it on it now. Like it's such a good the fact that uh, similar obviously to like the Switch, you can take you know games that you would normally play on your PC onto a lap, like Zero Horizon Dawn, and yeah, it's really good for indie games. Like my mate plays loads of like side scrollers and indie games, and they obviously run super well because they're not really graphically demanding. So you know it's fantastic for stuff like that. Um, that's why like these type of handhelds are going to do really well. So that's why I'm interested to see if they make any like even like ergonomic improvements to the Switch because it's not the most ergonomic to hold in your hands. Like obviously it's just flat. There's no like really grooves. There's like one slight groove yeah. on the back of the Joy-Cons at the top, but that's it. There's not, there's not really a lot, is there? It's not. I mean, it feels comfortable. It is a bit it's okay. like... You've got to hold it in a certain position now. It's like having your thumbs, yeah, your little fingers like down here. Do you know what I mean? It just feels... But I mean, I I don't mind it at all. I think it's a great console. I think the one thing that you have to keep in mind is like Nintendo are like pretty much at the forefront of innovating like new things that we've never seen or thought of before in consoles. Blurry again. Do you know what I mean? Blurry? Yeah, the Switch. Switch done you, mate. Yeah. Um, yeah, the um, so we've got like, yeah, we had like the 3DS for the 3D feature in it. Like, who'd done that before? No one, and all, of course, it was a bit like a, a bit of a gimmicky thing, but it was cool at the time, right? But it was, it was, 
I enjoyed it. I never really used it after maybe the first like few weeks. After that, I really never turned it on. Um, and then we had like the 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 Wii, which was very cool. Fantastic and, console, just in general. Yeah, amazing. So iconic. So many things with that were like new, like the controllers and stuff like that. The was it like the Wii Fit board that you oh, got Wii as Fit well? Was that? So good. That, was, that was cool. Um, the Wii U was <laughs> interesting. <laughs> was, I never actually was had much interaction with a Wii U, but it's like it's literally the middle ground between a Switch and a Wii. Yeah, because it's like testing ground it is, because of yeah, the, uh, the, of the, the tablet thing, controller. Mate. Yeah, yeah. Mm. so yeah, I mean, I'm excited. To be fair, I don't know if I think I sent you the graphic, but there was a graphic going around on Reddit um, of like someone had just like made a simple graphic. Um, detailing when each console come out and like they get the time between and they tend to work on a six to seven year cycle and the switch come out in 2015 so we're kind of 2015 we're or now. 16 we're at that stage now so I wouldn't be surprised if we get one next year I don't think it'll be this year now it feels like we're getting close to an announcement because they know like, the, yeah. they know that the the hardware is doo doo. They must they must. It can't be that stupid. Like I'm surprised that they're bringing out like Tears of the Kingdom on this console because of all the problems that like Scarlet and Violet had with this this console. Do you know the like the lagging? It just doesn't run properly. I think Austin John did a video. He like overclocked his Switch. He had like he was able to overclock it in like Scarlet and Violet ran super smoothly on it. And it's like, okay, like that just shows that it's just not powerful. Like it's capable, but they're not able to like, you know, the older models aren't capable to run it. And you're gonna get people buying Tears of the Kingdom that have those original consoles. And is it gonna have those same issues as Scarlet is and that Violet? The new has? Legend of Zelda game. Yeah, yeah. That comes out in like May. See, I don't know why they didn't just launch it with the new Switch because that would have would make so much sense. It would make it? more sense, and it'd be yeah. problematic because they did the first one with the first Switch, and mm. then it's just like uh, one thing. I don't, I don't think they're going to change the cartridges. They would, they would pee a lot of people off if they went and changed the cartridges again. I would, I would honestly like it if they, if we got a new Switch and the cartridges were exactly the same, and we had back compatibility with. Imagine Switch if games. they put a cart slot in there that you could put the 3DS slot in. Ah, uh, don't. So you, it was like that a multifunctional slot that you put the that, and then you could also take no, out, and then you could put that's in. That's too good. They're that never going to do that. There's no that way they're going to do good. it. That's so too good. good. And with a a, G, a Game Boy slot, oh and a yes, GBA slot, sit one in as well. <laughs> That would be sick. Well, they've done it with Full. the DS, right? So I yeah. don't know why they do it with 3DS. Because I don't Full. think they're going to port the 3DS games, but it'd be cool to be able to play them on... Mm. can't be that hard, right? To 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 put a slot in. Because like, they wouldn't have to change anything, right? Because we had... I don't know. I have no idea how that sort of thing would work. Maybe someone does know if that would be possible. Let us know if you know. If in the Switch 2, it would be a simple fix for them just to put a... 3DS slot in so we could play 3DS games on the Switch too. That would be sick though, mate. That would be insane. Mm -hmm. That would be actually really cool. That's a really cool idea. I just can't see it happening. It's just too good of a it's too good of an idea to happen. Do you know what I mean? They're just really super weird with their IP as well. Like yeah, really. with eShop closing, I don't think they would do it. But you know, mm. prove me wrong, please. I'd love to see it. So um, yeah. Getting back to Pokemon stuff, though, we do have, you touched on it, the TCG. There's a brand new set coming out, isn't there, for uh, oh, yes. Scarlet and Violet. It's coming out on the 31st, so a few days' time. You can bind a few sets, Friday. isn't it? The Japanese ones. I think so, yeah. So this is the yeah the Scarlet and Violet base set will be out. Yeah, it's called back, I'm Back, Baby. Come back, just like that Pika advert. <laughs> You're going to get all of these nice... nice I'm really tempted... Like that. I'm, I'm going to have to pick one. I'm going to have to pick some of the cards up at some point, but I can't afford it at the moment. So I think if I you think. pre order from the Pokemon Center, like if you get the Pokemon Center ETBs, you get like an additional um, promo card in there, which is pretty cool. I don't really know the details, but that was the, the fly on the wall TCG news for this week. Fly on the wall. Fly on the like wall, but that's all coming out. So there's some cool cards in it, though. It looks like a good set. 
Mm, let us know if you want us to talk about that as well, because me and well Lee more than me, but collects a lot of cards, especially from some of the, like the, rec- the set, recent sets we've had in the past couple of years. I also do collect, but um, I don't have any way near the same same amount of like old stuff that Lee has. So if you want us to cover some of that, because that was one of the ideas for the podcast as well. We was going to look at doing everything cover. and anything really wasn't it yeah with tcg yeah um and just like collecting it as well because it's like really some really cool again lee's got some really cool pokemon stuff i've got some i'm sure loads of people have but there's just loads of um they just they just it's printing money right the tcg so there's always some really sick <laughs> cards in there yeah um, the money machine and we get sucking into buying them so you know yeah. except my poor rates you know the four packs that i got another four packs from from holland right in Utrecht the day before we left Got nothing in it I had two Burning Shadows one Evolving Skies and one um, Silver Tempest nothing I was like I, can't, I normally get something in it that is that is I was grim, just, like, so, so for off. context for those of you that don't know what we're talking about at the VG event so video game championship event like in real life tournament event they hold side events on like the second day for those that don't progress to the second part of the tournament. And at the side events, you can, if you win or participate, you get like points. And if you get enough, then you can go to the prize wall and spend the points on different items that they've got there. Obviously, the more rare items like your packs of burning shadows, because they're like quite an old set now. They cost a little bit more. Evolving Skies cost a little bit more than your regular like Silver Tempest packs and things like that. So that's what Scott's referring to. You know, he and well, both of us we played a bunch of the the side events. He ditched me for most of them. (laughs) Planned to go to play side events on the Sunday, and I was like, "Yeah, it'll be cool playing with like." My buzzer went off. We registered. They gave me a buzzer and went beep beep beep. I turned around and he's gone, and I'm like, "I thought we were. I thought we were going to take part in them together." Pretty much didn't play a side event together all day. I was pretty sad. <laughs> no, but see, I didn't want to play because then it meant that we would get less points. I did get this though. This is probably screwed. Oh, yeah, my... yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a nice one. No, that's nice. That was, that was the one, the only one. It screwed my head. You know, I met someone right in the tournament when I was playing the, the pick a pack. Some guy overslept on the day. He was meant to be playing TCG. I overslept on the day of the event. I traveled to the country, I overslept, and so he couldn't participate because it was too late to start. And so he had just played side events all day on the main day. And I was like, imagine going to an event and like missing because you overslept. What did he get dropped from the tournament? He wasn't allowed to just like continue on I, from like he didn't bother. Round. Like he missed the first two rounds because he overslept. <sighs> and so he just he's like, Yeah, I just played side events all day. And I was like That is brutal. It's back up alarms, man. Like, I know it was a special event, so but still there was no registration fees, but yeah. And also, again, if there's stuff on here that you're like not super interested in, um, or more interested in, I should say, if there's stuff that you're more interested in that we're just glancing over, let us know because obviously we're just starting this out. It would be good to kind of get a good he idea. He has of, a wealth of knowledge of Pokemon, okay? He's been about... Well, He's cracking on a bit, guys. Okay, he's been a, he's been about for a while, so he knows he knows a lot of stuff. Rude. And, um, <laughs> and so, you know, he's a legend. So he's got good insight. Basically, my point is, he's got good insight to a lot of stuff. Trying to claw it back. So um, <laughs> we can talk about a lot because he knows a lot, way more than I do. Um, That's so, not hard, though, mate. Is it? Yeah, but yeah, I don't. <laughs> I'm bad at this game, so you know. I just I just play to meet people like Lee, so that's what it's all about. Um, but yeah, so yeah, anything you want to talk about, <laughs> getting away from the fact that I just called you old, um, and yeah, so I'm catching up, mate. I'm nearly 25, so you know, mm-hmm. I'll be 30 soon, and it's all downhill from there. What I mean, all downhill, all downhill. Yeah, so we we yeah, like Scott says, open to um, talk about anything. I'm old and I know a lot. Of- <laughs> Stuff, so I can talk forever about things if you want. But there's some pretty interesting stuff I know about from back in the day. Back. Well, in I mean, you literally day. played it from like when the games come out, right? That's why yeah. whenever I talk to you, you're like you were playing like Red and Blue, and like I obviously I played these when I was like 13, 14. I finally got my hands on a copy of like Red and Blue, and I was like, oh, this is so cool. You played them when they come out, you know? It's like I just find that so awesome. Yeah. The fact that you're still playing now. I just think it's wicked. 
I played the games before I saw the anime. So that that was like, and then, so it was like about a month before I saw the anime, I'd been playing the games like nonstop. So I was already like immersed in the games itself. And then the anime just being the age I was just propelled the the just the world of Pokemon. And then obviously just exploded from there. But this is before it really popped off or in the UK at least. Um, but yeah, it's it's fun. I'll not get into it in today's episode, but there's lots I can talk about. But the an- anime is just sad. It's just ended. They just yeeted Ash and they're just like... No, he's gone. How do they explain it in his like, last episode? Did he just be like, I don't want to be a Pokemon trainer anymore and he just walks away? I don't know. I've like I've seen the end of like the the Japanese one, but just it wasn't like um, it didn't have subs on or anything. So it was just a raw. So I, I yeah. don't really understand what they're saying, but it's just kind of um, with an ending. I don't really know, mate. I don't know you how they're going to. Imagine in like right ten now. years, right? They yeah. come back, and it's like this new character. I can't remember what they're called. The new the new protagonist. And they're they're challenging for the Pokemon League and Ash is like one of the champions. That'd be cool. And he's like, he's like, he's finally old. He's finally aged. And he's like 30, <laughs> 35. He finally turned 11. He's like, you don't understand, man. <laughs> I've seen stuff. <laughs> I had to fight a dark cry. <laughs> you know? Man, by then there'll be like, there'll be like 6,000 Pokemon by then or more. That'd be crazy. <laughs> crazy amount of Pokemon. Nuts. Yeah. But, um, uh, Yeah. It'd be cool. So that, that, that'll be interesting to see how the anime kind of pans out going forward. I think it's probably good. It's like, it's good for the new generation coming in. Although I do feel sad because Ash was, Ash was the goal, wasn't he? Was it 26 years or something? It's like, something like that, yeah. Good. Veronica Taylor's at Comic-Con. She's been a couple of times and I'm tempted to get her to sign some stuff, but you have to pay. You should. It's just like, you should oh, do it. I got some comics like um, signed by her and the guy that does Brock and me out as well because they I didn't I don't think a lot of people know this but they changed voices like after a certain amount of seasons or something someone else did it it, Veronica, it wasn't Veronica Taylor it hasn't been Veronica Taylor for a while someone oh, really? else does it yeah it hasn't, she, she stopped doing it um, someone else took over because when I was looking up before I was like oh do you not know that so, so she's just the, the OG that she's the OG hmm yeah yeah interesting and getting on to i think the other thing that we just going to mention today mate was um the the official tournament the the season the 2023 poke play pokemon season is well underway now we just had some recent events we had one in uh utrecht is that how i'm pronouncing it i think so and i I, i'm pretty sure i butchered it utrecht Utrecht, Utrecht. I don't know. And then Charlotte, uh, Charlotte over in the states this past weekend um, were the two that we just had. So uh, Justin Karras winning, um, we've got one player over in Charlotte, and Eric Rios winning over in Utrecht. And then we've got coming up. What was the one that we said was uh, Portland? Is it Fort Portland? Wayne? Fort Wayne Fort, is next Fort weekend. Wayne is this coming weekend? This weekend. Yes, this coming weekend, and then it is this in, weekend. In a yeah. couple of weeks' and time, we have EUIC, baby. EUIC. And we were thinking we could do maybe a live pod from there because we'll both be there, won't we? Which would be. Do you want to do it good. in the event hall? That would be very cool, wouldn't it? That would be cool. You'd so that, to talk, that talk to someone about doing that. <laughs> no, it'd be. I think it'd be fine. I don't see any issues because you can make content in there. You know? Yeah, but where do we? We'd have to just sit down and. Yeah, there's plenty of spaces, you know, play tables that aren't being played on and things like that. You could start it there and just sit there for like half an hour yeah, and then kind of wander around I'm going to be playing in the so tournament big. the entire time because I'm obviously going to win it. So we're not going to have time. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Maybe if you come winning. interview me between rounds. Too busy you know? winning. Like, yeah. no, when I'm on the final stage on the Sunday, right, if you sit next to me on the stage and then we can do the podcast there because I won't need to pay attention because I'm that good. I can just, you know. It's just like half attention, and then we we'll just do the pod like this. this. Right, we remember <laughs> this. <laughs> like when I top cut, and I'm like there the on stage, just like I like the confidence, mate. I will come on I this pod and be like, I "Called it on the first episode, baby." I hope you do. That'd be amazing. Yeah. Be amazing. I'd love to see it. I would love to see it. I really would. 
Um, but yeah, I think that's everything that's kind of gone on this week. I don't think there's much else outside of the seven star uh, raid event that's happening. We've mentioned that though, but that's for the um, the Samurott. I don't really think there's much to to talk about there. Bug type Samurott coming this weekend, and it will be coming uh, the weekend after on the the seventh of April as well. So the thirty first and then the seventh for bug type Samurott, and then you would imagine on the Ooh, on the 11th of April, we'll get the Typhlosion announced, I think. That's Typhlosion, is that what your money is on? Yeah, and then I think after that one, which will be, so if it gets announced, let's just figure this out. If it gets announced on the, ele- ele- will it be the 11th? No, no, it'll be, it'll be announced on the 10th, I think, right? So the Yeah, midnight on the 10th. Yeah, and then it will be happening that weekend, 14th, and then the 21st of April, And that would mean, I think, Pokemon Home comes out that week of the 24th of April. Really? That's your prediction? You're calling it now? That's my prediction. Calling it now. 24th of April. That week. That week. And I'm going to say it comes out like the Wednesday is the update. And we get it live on the Wednesday. Or the Tuesday. Wednesday or Tuesday. So there's my prediction for it. I think Pokemon Home. The week of the 24th of April. Don't come for me if it's not... I am just having seeing the guess. comments now. You lied to us. <laughs> dumb, <dead> dumb. To <laughs> us. <laughs> that it will be. It will happen. It will be happen. I'll take it though. I'll own it. I'll own it because if it does come true, then it's kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah. So, anything else, mate, that you want to talk about this week? Pokemon related? Anything? I'm trying to think of things that have happened as well this week. Other than what we've talked about that's relevant, but it's been a lot of fun. I don't think so, mate. I think we've hit all of our points and we're on the hour mark as well. So, you know, that's a nice a good sweet time to wrap spot, up, isn't it? Good sweet for spot. Next week. Yeah. I really yeah. enjoyed this, man. Like, I've really enjoyed it, mate. We I know are I planning would. on doing these live as well. So, we're kind of starting off slow. We're going to see how they go, get ourselves kind of adapted to it, like a, a reptile in water. Or an amphibian in water. I and think, then, um, and then we're going to go live with these, so we can have live chat going on while these while these happen, which will be a lot of fun because then we'll be able to have that interactive kind of presence with. with yeah, people. I think it'd be good. Our audience. I think we do it for maybe. Mm. Would you do pre-recorded for the first two, one, maybe two months, see how mm. that goes, and then maybe introduce one a month, and then see how those go, and then you know. Maybe we'd do them all live or we just stick to one a month. I think one a month could be cool because then it's something to look forward to. But, you know, we'll play it by ear. It doesn't really matter, does it, too much. So, you know, we've no. got this platform. So your lovely subscribers, I'm sure, will be happy to do whatever. Hopefully. Let us know what you think of the logo as well. Yeah. At least spent hours on that. Hours. Honestly. Hours, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> Pokeballs Podcast. If you like the name... Because Lee said to me, he's like, because we've got balls. And I was like, you know what? He's not wrong. He said, Pokeballs as we have balls. That's what he said to me. We're coming up with a name. Makes what a sense. great quote. And we like Pokemon. <laughs> gonna, gonna Boom. Leave the DM chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, no, I really like the name. I love the logo. Let us know what you guys think. Uh, and yeah, I guess hopefully we'll get a schedule on when they get uploaded either on a Tuesday or on a Wednesday. We'll be recording on a Monday just so you guys get a reference of when we're, yeah. what we're talking about is relevant and stuff. So. so if you've got questions or topics for next week, leave them in the comment section and we'll make sure to go through each, every one of them and we'll, uh, we'll try and cover as many as we can next week on the, on next week's pod. Mm-hmm. Excellent. If you're listening on, because we will be putting this on Spotify, iTunes, and those other platforms, uh, it's going to be a bit harder for you guys to comment, I guess, on those platforms. So leave us a review if you enjoyed it, because you can do that on Apple Podcast and Spotify. And come subscribe to um, the YouTube channel, because uh, for now we're going to keep it on um, at the Osiris channel, uh, Lee's channel, but depending on how popular it gets, we'll probably migrate it to its own channel in the future, but... I've just realized as well that the, the value in that that the video that you sent me is not going to be there for anyone listening 
on Spotify, iTunes. You need to come over. You've got to so come this watch is it. Just a, this is just a, a little plug. Come to the YouTube channel to watch it just for the, the video. You need to see it. You will not believe the video if you, uh, if you <laughs> unless you actually physically watch it. Um, it's weird, right? It's not just me. Like, it's, it's actually a weird advert. I've watched it tonight. I was like, mate, there's nothing normal about that advert. It is so weird. When I watched so it to weird. start with, I was like, it's so weird. I saw the captions like, it was like, <laughs> good job, Japan, or Japan never changed. And I was like, two guys, because in the thumbnail, it's like, there's no reference to Pokemon. And I clicked it, and I was like, why well, have they got cones in their hands? Yeah, and then the blue steel. And there's just, and the yeah, and then <laughs> Pikachu everywhere. And I'm like, what the? Anyway, you got to come what watch it, guys. On? So subscribe to Japan the channel. Japan do some really weird stuff, though. And that is definitely... Maybe we spent an episode looking at... Um, like weird uh, Japanese weird advertising Japanese yeah that would be amazing like there you know there are so many beauties out there I yeah. think there's some stuff that we probably couldn't even put on the put actually on the channel because it's they're bigger ones to do live yeah it would because that, that would way be, you wouldn't have yeah. to worry too much about that yeah that would be that's a good idea Should thank you so it. much for tuning in this has been the Pokeballs podcast I'm your host Lee and my co-host Scott thank you for tuning in everyone we'll be back next week with episode 2 leave us a review on iTunes Spotify and if you're on YouTube watching us here then drop a comment if you've got any questions or topics you'd like to see us cover in the Pokeballs podcast next week Scott thank you so much mate it's been a pleasure see you guys Have next week rest of your night bye bye everyone bye. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day.